cloud migration is top of mind for many organizations today. While moving to the cloud can be full of challenges, the cloud offers many advantages around increased agility, new and innovative services, and on-demand pricing that traditional data centers don't offer. So let's talk about one way to make migration easier, hosting your native VMware environment right on Google Cloud. The reality is that managing your own infrastructure is often an unnecessary burden and usually isn't a differentiator for the business. While migrating to the cloud is the end goal, there can be significant complexity in refactoring applications, as well as the tools and policies your teams use. The challenge of migration can involve risks and put your business in analysis paralysis. Google Cloud wants to help businesses capture the benefits of cloud while reducing the complexity of doing a full refactor. Today, we're going to show you how that's possible with Google Cloud VMware Engine, a fast and safe way to move your VMware workloads to the cloud. Google Cloud VMware Engine is built to address the biggest issues that prevent most workloads from moving to the cloud, lack of resources, and the cost of re-architecting apps. With Google Cloud VMware Engine, you can migrate your apps with zero changes. You'll be able to run your VMs in a private, native VMware environment. This means you can use the same tools, processes, and policies while still getting the advantages of being in the cloud, on top of deeper integration with other Google Cloud services. In fact, it doesn't take long to spin up an environment. You can lower your total cost of ownership quickly and spend more time planning on how to re-architect down the road. Let's walk through a demo of how to set up a Google Cloud VMware environment with just a few clicks. We'll start by showing how to access the Google Cloud VMware engine from the Google Cloud console. After that, we'll create a secure and isolated boundary called a private cloud that will contain the VMware environment. Then we'll take a tour of some of the platform features and jump into the familiar vSphere interface. Let's start with the icon in the upper left-hand corner of the console. Scroll down to the Compute section and you'll see VMware Engine. Clicking on this takes us to the Overview page, which provides additional details and lets us do common operations like creating our private cloud, viewing documentation, launching the vSphere client, modifying network settings, and managing users. Let's create a private cloud by clicking on the Create Private Cloud button. Here, we'll be able to customize our cloud by choosing a location. Let's leave it on US East and increase the number of nodes from three to four. We'll also add a CIDR range for our appliances and then click Review and Create. After reviewing that everything looks good, we'll click Create to kick off the process. Once completed, we can see the details of the environment as well as other private clouds that we've created. While the private cloud is being created, let's talk about pricing. Pricing is done per node and includes all the storage, compute, and licensing to run a VMware environment. By default, you'll pay per month, but you can also sign up for a one or three year plan to save money. All of the billing for VMware Engine is integrated so you can see payment details side by side with your other Google Cloud services. After your private cloud is created, you can access it from the resources screen. Here, you can see all of your private clouds and manage them. By clicking on a specific private cloud, you can see the details of its configuration. Here you can launch your Virtual Center client, which is the standard enterprise Virtual Center client you're likely already familiar with. You can also expand the cloud by adding nodes, as well as scrolling down to the bottom where you can shrink your environment, escalate your privileges so you can get admin access in Virtual Center, or even delete the private cloud entirely. Let's scroll back up to the top of the screen and launch the vSphere client. On this login page, we can enter our credentials. After logging in, you can see that we're working with the same interface that you and your team are likely already familiar with. This native access to VMware gives you a standard way to control your applications while getting all the benefits of running on Google Cloud. Now, let's return to the Google Cloud VMware Engine Management Console and look at some of the networking details. Here, we can manage and set up our VLANs and subnets, firewall tables, public IP addresses, VPN gateways, and VPC peerings, where you can easily access your Google Cloud infrastructure from your VMware environment. The Activities interface provides details that your security and operations teams will be interested in. It provides any alerts that have occurred in the environment, details on any events that have occurred in the past, current running tasks, and allows you to audit any activities done by a user. The Accounts screen gives you an overview of your entire VMware engine environment, including the ability to sign up for email alerts. You're also able to manage the users who have access to the environment. We're eager for everyone to see Google Cloud VMware Engine and are excited to say that it's available for you to try out right now. With this quick tour, you should be ready to migrate your VMware environment to the cloud quickly. Check out the documentation and see more details and spin up your own private cloud.